this is a familiar location this is where we started a video a couple of couple of videos ago actually we did from here Butterley all the way um, to Ambergate I can't remember the name then um, so this is Butterley Midland Railway Centre preserved railway a couple of DMUs in the distance this is as far as it goes this is a little halt called Hammersmith and this location we're at now is called Butterley Junction so I think I went through this the last time we were here straight on is the line to Ambergate that met up with what's now the middle and main line Derby Chesterfield Sheffield but we had a branch going off down here that that we're going to investigate today and I forgot everything John's told me now so we had we're going to go down there we're, there's a line to Langley Mill and there's a line going off towards the Midland Railway closer to Derby down past Denby So it's time to put those readers on and we'll have a look at rail map online. So as we've just been saying, stood at Hammersmith Station, we're looking at the line from here at Butterley through Ripley and out towards Langley Mill. The former Midland Railway, a lesser known line, opening in stages from 1890. The line closed in the 1920s with the last trains running the entire length of the branch in 1926. Not a very long lifespan for a line at all. The short section we're about to see first between Butterley and Ripley lasted slightly longer until 1938. Just next to the Hammersmith Station halt, this would have been Butterley Junction. We've got a, still got the track down here. It's going off to the viaduct onto the A610 straight in front. And we've got a loading bay on, um, on the left hand side. This to the left here on old maps is referred to as Edgerton Mill or Egerton Mill. I don't think many people come down here, do they? No. Um, we've still got track, but we've got a buffer stop in there. Phil's found a, a buffer stop in the trees. You see that? Which is effectively started the viaduct. So the viaduct goes straight on in it front here. Yeah. left, yeah, but it's directly below there and then curve around to the left there towards Ripley. So we're being a bit cheeky and just having a scout behind Hammersmith Station, all sorts here. Oh, edge of edges of uh, platforms, I assume. The patterns on there, stacked up there. So that buffer stop. Is, uh, it's just the other side, it's just in those trees. This is the A38 bridge um, to my left hand side here. So what we're looking at here is this wall. And we stood right where there was a viaduct that we'll see on the maps. So we can see the viaduct here straight after leaving Butterley Junction, going over the yard of the Pendrick Colliery. An 11 span cast iron structure with stone supports Obviously, the iron was manufactured by the Butterley Company next door. I do understand that the stone pillars survived until they were pulled down for the construction of the A38, which now eats up the route of the line and the viaduct for a short distance. That is, this is the bottom of one of the arches. So onwards a bit, we've uh, we've just come across the A610, just there through the trees. I'm stood on the track bed now. Trust me, looking in that direction. So in that direction, there's there's nothing remains of the track bed. It follows the route of the A38 for a short while. A uh, little bit of issues here where we can't access down there, and this is where we can get back on it. This is the track bed. Tough going. I've got the trouser bits to my shorts in my bag and I don't know why I've not put those on. So we have had to come down off the trap bed. It was it was a little bit non non-negotiable. Um, but yeah, literally 50 yards on and we've got this this lovely well call it a bridge, it's it's quite it's quite wide, isn't it? Like a tunnel. Why is it so wide? It's wide, isn't it? 
another bit of a bridge remains there no top as you can well see just one side of the bridge remains on this one nothing on that side just a couple of bricks deep at the bottom there bit of masonry chuck to one side so we've got a little bit of tarmac starting now that's looking towards Ripley that's quite a quite an incline looking in front there so this is the track bed and that's looking down to where we've just come looking back down towards those those bridges that we've just passed this is Ripley Greenway that we're walking on now another bridge exactly the same so we've got a little tunnel there, but we have got the original bridge. This is the A61, the original bridge just behind, you can see just there. So we've put this tunnel underneath this bridge. And there's the old bridge from the other side. The greenway's climbed up quite a bit, um, up to street level now, but the line went underneath and we can see the top of a bridge here that we've come to the top of. There's a bridge from the roadside. And that would have been looking down to track bed. Just looking into a bush. And there's the bridge the other side. Not quite as filled in as the other side. So although this is a, a flat greenway, concrete path, nice bit of lawn. Um, this would have been a cutting at one time, so it's been infilled and raised up to the up to the levels, um, and we're on the approach now to uh, to Ripley Station. And just on the approach to Ripley Station between Outram Street and Nottingham Road, we had this old good shed in the uh, in the green clearing that we can see. So that's Nottingham Road just above us there. It's coming in a bridge. We're still climbing on this path. So we're assuming the railway's come out of the cutting here and we're, we're roughly level with it. But we're into the site now of, uh, of Ripley Station and the second generation of stations, I suppose. That's looking the other way and you can still see the retaining walls from the side here so we've been stood i mean it's quite an incline here there's obviously been some landscaping reprofiling being done and um, we're stood in the site of the station i mentioned just then the second generation of ripley stations that's because the original station was just to the southeast of the current one the original one opened in 1856 some 30 years before also by the midland railway the name Ripley moved to the new station on Nottingham Road and the first station became known as the Old Yard. So you can just see through the trees there, you can see the access sloping down to the station level from the road there. Albion Street, the uh, scene of another bridge. So we think this is the bridge we could see from that photo um, on the information board at Ripley, Ripley Station bridge is completely gone there's no can't see any evidence or any remains of that bridge now site of another another bridge at one time little left now a bit of stonework there so it's really hard to pinpoint exactly on the ground and um, whereabouts this is but we're, we're at the site roughly somewhere somewhere in these trees uh, Ripley Junction so this is where our line um, branches off into two down in that direction we had the uh, the branch to Denby and on um, to Derby and this way went off towards Heenham and Langley Mill so we're continuing to head south from the Ripley station site through Ripley Junction now it has been a long long time since this line closed in the 1920s i'm not sure when the lines were actually lifted but regeneration has seen this next section reclaimed therefore to meet up with the hena and langley mill branch again near wayne groves colliery meant a bit of a detour and on the fly navigation 
brick for uh, Butterly Wayne Groves there. So we've had a bit of a do, closed footpaths, a um, bit of a detour. It's been hard work to be honest. It's, uh, it's been quite difficult to try and figure out where the lines have gone. Um, we tried to follow the uh, the Ripper to Hino, the Langley Mill line. Um, we lost that. Um, we've done a detour around to try and find it. Um, we're currently on a track bed that's not that line, but is a neighbouring line to the colliery. Is it Wayne Groves Colliery? Yeah, but yeah. the company's private line to Wayne Groves Colliery. So that's what we're walking on at the moment. Now, the other line, the Midland line to Hino and Langley Mill is just it's just to the to the right hand side, but that's in a field now. That's that's uh, that's gone for the time being. Got some Britway on the left hand side, but just entering the site of Wingrove's Colliery, and I can see there's a little building just on the side of the line, a little tiny little building. I think that's what I can see there with that remains of that that brick wall. So we've just walked from down there, that's the trap bed in there. This is, uh, this is pit lane that runs alongside, this basically runs between the two lines. Pit lane, a bit of a giveaway. It comes across here, um, I presume was a, a level crossing. And what we've got on the right hand side here was Wayne Grove's colliery. It's now a woodland walk, nothing really to see, but anyway. So since we left um, the Ripley Greenway and we branched off onto this Hena and uh, Langley Mill line, this is the first time that we've actually got a glimpse of this, anything remaining on this line. So we've got, a, got an old bridge. So that's looking back where we've come from. We've got the, the bridge down here. I don't think we'll get down there for, for a look, unfortunately. At some stage in the past, this bridge we see has replaced an old stone arch bridge. Judging by what we can see in this old photo, the rails are being taken up whilst the old bridge is still in situ. Therefore, this more modern bridge must have been added after the railway's closure. I can only assume this was upgraded to allow heavier vehicles to cross it, given the old track bed was used by lorries to access the landfill at the other side of the bridge. So we've just come down by the side of that, that little bridge with the farm track going over the top of it. We've got some kind of, and it's not a platform, with some kind of raised concrete base on the left hand side there and a brick wall at the back. Oh, I can't see anything on any old maps though, that anything will be there. But this is now, we're walking down um, the track bed for, uh, for our Hena and Langley Mill line. I understand it's been modified at some stage in the past for, for earth, earth moving vehicles to come down. We move on a very short distance from Wayne Groves to the single platform Cross Hill and Codner railway station. I don't believe anything survives of this station today. Got a couple of bridge sides here, so this is just a bit further up the line here. This is we're in Lasco. Coping stone still on top, supported by um, by some blue brick. On top of the bridge now. So we're in Hina now, you know. Um, just looking for any remains around the railway station, which I'll show you in a minute. So we just stood on top of where there was a bridge heading off in that direction. And we just found that little little uh, little piece of old brickware that we assumed from the bridge. But looking in this direction is where Hina station would have been. Nothing to see now. The site of the former Hena station and we're nearing the end of our branch line now. Like Ripley station it was built in a cutting and included a good shed to the north. When it was closed and the cuttings raised to ground level the platforms were left intact and the cutting infilled on top of them. 
So fast forward a few more miles and uh, we're in Langley Mill now. We're just coming. We're just coming walking down the trap bed at the minute. Just coming to, well, we're not on the trap bed. The trap bed's down, down there by the lots of things. But we're just coming to have a look at this, this bridge. Yeah, so just nestled down, down off the road, hidden away in this little dirty corner. Someone's got about two thirds of a bridge in the garden there. <laughs> I can't get any closer and I can't, I can just make out what it's saying. There's a little plaque on something. Is that manufacture something the 1887? There's the bridge from the top. There's a suitcase there. Yeah. So this is the other side of that little bridge we've just we've just uh, been looking at from where someone's gardens in. So it's infilled at this side. What if it's got a plaque on this side? I can't see one. So then, and that's your track bed. We're not we're not going that way, are we? No chance. Right, this is the last thing to show you on our, um, on our Butterley, Ripley, Henoch, Langley Mill line. So, still in Langley Mill, not far from where the line would have met the, the Midland Erewash line. And this last little bridge, Aldred's Road. Got a plaque up there. All right, I can read that plaque. This one, it's a bit clearer, manufactured by the Butterley Company. I think he says 1888 on that one. Yeah, we can get under this bridge. It's a bit of a bit of a novelty today. It's dark, very dark though. Trees either side. Just clean the lens. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? So just one more thing to mention, just with, while we're still under this bridge, I've just been looking at the old maps. This was a junction, so on the old maps, Hena Goods line in that direction, and this was Hena Goods Junction, even though we're in Langley Mill. Um, so going off to the right was, was a colliery branch, and that went off towards uh, Losco Colliery, where we were a few miles back, uh, Bailey Brook Colliery, uh, and a few other things. So that's it from Langley Mill now. So cheers to John. Your name's not John, is it? No, but it's not a Dave, it's Sorry. a name. Cheers to Phil. <laughs> um, for showing me around. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's been the, the brainchild behind today's Explore. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.